10 simple ways to increase your confidence in less than 10 minutes. Gentlemen, you ready? Let's get into it. Number one on this list, get a great haircut. Notice I didn't say good haircut. I'm talking about going out, going with a trusted barber, a trusted stylist, or stepping your game up and going to that stylist, to that barber who your friends have recommended, who you know will do an excellent job, maybe costs a bit more. Don't be afraid to spend a little bit more money to be able to walk out of that shop, out of that salon, out of that barber shop and feel like a million bucks. It's such an easy way to step up your game. Tip number two, stand up straight. Roll your shoulders back, stick your chest out, gentlemen, and stand to attention. Well, you don't have to stand to attention, but the point is don't discount the power of actually the way that you stand, the way that you present yourself, the way that you feel. I remember in business school, walking across to an interview, I had a friend stop me and he's like, Antonio, I just, you just walk with so much confidence. How do you do it? Well, Go back, think about what you stand for. Think about what you're going to do. Think about all the work that you've put into things. It's about you knowing what you stand for and then standing up for it. Tip number three, keep your socks up. Tip number four, keep your shirt tucked in. Guys, you want your clothing to do what it's designed to do, which is to make you look better, make you to feel more confident, to protect you. It's your suit of armor. It should be your go-to uniform when you want to feel like a million bucks. If you're going into an interview and you can feel, if you ever had this, you feel your socks rolling down. They are just not staying up where they should be or your shirt. It's coming untucked. You move around. Guys, you want your clothing to do what it's designed to do. Now, how can you keep the socks up? How can you keep your shirt tucked in? Hey, the paid sponsor of today's video and one of my favorite brands, KK and J. They make these beautiful shirt garters. If you're not familiar with shirt stays, shirt garters, whatever you want to call them, right here, this attaches to the bottom of your shirt. This right here attaches to the top of your sock. Boom. Two birds, one stone, <laughs> you keep your socks up, you keep your shirt tucked in. Just the other day, I had a gentleman I met, just randomly met at an event, and he's like, Antonio, I love that you introduced me to shirt stays. I wear them, I love them. Basically, he's a runner, he's a very fit individual. He was saying, I always had all these shirts that just simply had this excess material. And yeah, I know I could get them tailored and that would help, but by simply grabbing some shirt stays, he'd actually grabbed them from KK and J, and he's telling me all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm actually gonna use this in my next video because guys I have been using this is a pair that I received them about five years ago I've worn these probably a hundred times they have stood up to the test of time what I like is they took that original product they added some color had some fun with it uh, guys in the description of this video I'm gonna link over to this great company check them out take advantage of that discount code but go support them great company I'm proud to have them here and check out all of their products let me know one of your favorite colors down in the comments and who knows if I have some extra I may ship them your way but gentlemen check them out great company tip number five to increase your confidence in less than 10 minutes is to shine your shoes and shine your shoes after you wear them at the end of the day. I find that if you rely on shining your shoes in the morning or before, right before that big interview, when you wake up 30 minutes or an hour late and you're rushing out that door, you're not going to have time to shine your shoes. And you're going to notice when you're sitting there waiting to go into that interview, oh man, my shoes are all scuffed. They don't look great. And that right there, that small thing is just going to be a ding to your confidence. What you want to make sure is that you've got a shoe shine kit. You have a place where you place your shoes, where everything can be found, where you can find the brush, where you can find the polish, where you can find everything you need to be able to shine your shoes and always shine your shoes before you need them shined. Tip number six to feel more confident, less than 10 minutes, make time for a great shave. Most of us shave probably in about one to two minutes. It's something that we just do because we have to do. We don't take the time to actually pamper ourselves, to give ourselves a great shave. I've put out tons of videos how you can have the perfect or the ultimate shave. I will say that you want to have a shaving technique. You want to give yourself 10, maybe even a little bit more, longer, 15 minutes. I find that for me, I get a great shave just coming out of the shower. This is because it basically softens the hair on my face. Then when I come out, I use a better shaving lotion. I don't use the propellant. I upgraded. Yes, it costs a bit more to use a higher quality shaving lotion. I also will occasionally use a shaving oil. Now, straight razors, safety razors, cartridge razors, electric razors, disposable razors. You know, experiment. Find what works for you. You're stuck with this mug for the rest of your life. 
take care of it. This next tip is one of my favorites for increasing your confidence and that is starting to use a fragrance. I call this liquid courage. This is where you condition yourself with certain fragrances to feel good. And I wouldn't have believed this till I read the research. I got back into fragrances and I realized there are certain smells that just take me back to certain moments that make me feel great. Smells and fragrances can do that. So, if you've got a fragrance that you wear on your best days, on the days that you know you're going to have a great day, you can condition yourself even when maybe you're not feeling that great. You are a bit nervous. Boom, liquid courage, not the kind that gets you drunk, the kind that you can spray on you. All of a sudden, you've got your go to fragrances. And there is enough research. I got the research over at Real Men Real Style, which I will link to the support article down in the description. And there are certain fragrances which can calm you down, can make you feel stronger, can make you feel more confident. Yes, guys, this is real. And fragrance is something that I think so many guys should take advantage of. Tip number eight take care of your nails, gentlemen, not just your fingernails either also your toenails. There's nothing wrong with going and getting a manicure, getting a pedicure. That may go beyond the 10 minutes, but make sure that weekly you are taking the time to go over your nails to cut them properly. I prefer to use scissors. I think most men should use scissors. It's going to give a cleaner cut on the nail. Clippers are okay, but the issue with clippers is that they don't cut nails properly if it's a cheap clipper. The reason being is clippers go in and they basically crush the nail. This does not leave a smooth edge. Now, you can help with that by using a file. A file helps, but if you don't take care of your nails, what happens? You start to develop hangnails, you start to get possibly infections, and you just simply are watching, you're keeping your hands out of the way. When you're putting your hand out for a shake, you're hoping nobody notices that you've got these dirty nails. Guys, Take care of your nails. It's part of your grooming routine and something every man needs to do. Tip number nine on how to increase your confidence in less than 10 minutes get in a quick workout. I know you're not, you're not going to be able to get in five miles. You're not going to be able to go to the gym and get in a full lift set. But in less than 10 minutes, if this is all you have, you can do some quick calisthenics. You can do some jumping jacks. You can do some push ups. You can do some burpees. You can do some sit ups. Yes, I know it's not the same, but at least you got in something and you got the blood flowing. I know if I've only got 15 to 20 minutes, I run down if I'm at the hotel into the treadmill and I'll turn up the speed. I'll get in a pretty good workout. I'll be sweating. I have certain endorphins running now through my blood system and I feel more confident. I feel better and ready to meet the day. So, this next tip on how to increase your confidence in less than 10 minutes is pretty simple guys, but if you wear a sports jacket, if you wear a blazer, you wear a suit jacket, stuff it with a pocket square. This is one of the easiest accessories that most men don't use and instantly you'll start to get compliments. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, Antonio, how do I start wearing a pocket square? Go with a simple white cotton or linen pocket square. Either one's going to be fine. Go with a square fold. Start your day with it. If you feel conscious by midday, by lunch, take it out, stop wearing it. But I can tell you, you're probably going to forget about it. It's something you're not going to think of till somebody comes up and says, oh, nice pocket square. Then all of a sudden, you develop the courage, the confidence to start bringing in other pocket squares. Go for other folds. And if you don't wear jackets, I get it. Then bring in a different accessory. Wear a watch that you have fun with. Maybe start to rock, I don't know, a hat. Go with a certain type of jewelry. Find shoes that got maybe contrasting leathers on them. Have fun with accessories. Bring in a bit of color to your wardrobe. At the end of the day, gentlemen, everything I talked about here, I wanted it so that you could simply and quickly add it into your wardrobe, add it to your routine so that you can walk with more confidence. You can dress with more confidence so you can become the man you know yourself to be. Gentlemen, that's it. I'm going to link to the support article down in the description. Go check it out. I'm going to go into a lot more detail there. And don't forget, go check out KKJ, a great company. I'm proud to have them as a sponsor. I use these products and have used them now for approximately, I don't know, like four years. Great company. And uh, I've got a discount code for you down there. You can go check them out. That's it, guys. Take care. See you in the next video.